So, uh, Paris Hilton, let me see if I can get this straight now. Now, according to the newspaper, there's about 10 Paris Hilton videotapes. Yes, yeah, she didn't stop at one. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Now, I've only seen one. I mean, I've seen portions of one. That's the one that's all over the Internet now. And, um, you know, so then it was announced that Paris Hilton's parents made a deal with sexbrat.com that they uh, either they purchased the tape back from them or, or I don't know what's going on, but uh, supposedly that website's not going to show the tape. They were planning on releasing it and the charging money. Tape. The full tape. And this is Kevin from sexbrat.com. So, Kevin, where are we at with this? Good morning, Howard. Hi, Robin. How are you? Okay. First of all, what is sexbrat.com? Sexbrat.com is your premier destination for celebrities truly uncensored. Um, like, what do you got on there that I can see? Well, what we did have on there uh, as, as of two weeks ago, which you won't find up there right now, is we were the we were the web company that attained uh, photos of Amber Fry from the Scott Peterson case. Right. Uh, those pictures have since been removed from the website. Why is that? Well, Gloria Allred, two words. <laughs> um, <laughs> She'll get them removed. Yeah, I mean, this was basically uh, a situation that brought a lot of press to sexbrat.com's website. Uh, my client, sexbrat.com, is, is located out of Seattle. But what are you? Are you the lawyer? No, I'm actually the publicity firm that they retain. Oh, oh I see. The press and, and the, the influx of media that's been calling them. But what you got on there? What that's... else can you? You can't see Amber, so what can you see? Uh, Dr. Laura Schlesinger. Oh, you got her naked pictures, right? We've got, uh, we've got that. And basically, like I said, it's a premier destination for any salacious or uh, any kind of... Uh, let's just say, uh, savory videotapes that we might be able to come across. All right, so, uh, so right now it sounds like you, your inventory is pretty low. <laughs> well, as I'm not hearing anything too wild. Yeah, um, um, you know, the two things you had, you can't show. Any well, Robin Quivers on there? <laughs> we would love it. We'd pay big money for Robin Quivers. So what? Uh, you were the guys who purchased the Paris Hilton tape originally to, to actually sell it, which would have been a big seller if you got it right on. But what happened? What went wrong? First of all, who'd you purchase it yeah, from? And how much did it cost? Well, okay. Let me first of all say that uh, sexbrat.com were the people who purchased the tape out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, they were approached, the timeline goes as this, uh, a couple months ago, they were approached by a person by the name of Donald Thrasher. Donald Thrasher is allegedly Rick Solomon's roommate. Okay. Donald Thrasher comes to sexbrat.com and says, hey, I've got a tape of Paris Hilton, and um, we would like to make a deal with you guys, at which, which point sexbrat.com basically paid this individual an upfront fee. How much money did you pay? Um, I'd rather not say. At Why? This particular time. Why not? Why not tell? Well, because... First of all, I can't get Derek Newman on the phone right now. To ask Who's Derek Newman? That's the legal representation sexbrat.com is using right now. Well, we care how much they paid. I mean, like, in other words, why do you have to protect that? You guys paid a price, and that's okay. You're saying you paid. What was the amount? Um, let's just say the mid five figures. Wow. Yeah. Big bucks. Well... It's big bucks. Five bucks figures. Oh, that's, that's 50. Not, yeah, like, that's oh. in the 50s or 60s. Oh, I thought we were talking about like a $500,000 no, fee. No, no, no. Well, that's why I believe that sexbrat.com is a victim in this as well as Paris Hill. Why are you guys a victim? Well, here, you know, sexbrat.com went out and actually paid some big money for this tape. And in good faith, really believed that this tape was going to be uh, legal in every sense of, of the word and that we wouldn't have any issues. But certainly you guys must know. Now, I don't know the gentleman you're talking about who sold it to you, and I don't even know if that's all true. I mean, I'm just taking your word for it. Right. But uh, let's assume that whoever sold it to you, you know he's not in the videotape. You know he doesn't represent yeah. any of the people Why who are in the videotape. Legal. Yeah, who would, who would think Why that that would be legal? That? Well, that is exactly why the legal representation that we have is looking into a myriad of possibilities, including fraud. And uh, it was just ill-gotten. Ill and let me also clarify that the Hilton's parents were not the ones that we actually entered into an agreement with. But it was actually Paris Hilton herself. Oh. Oh. So, um, basically, they aren't very happy that this tape exists, <laughs> as you could imagine. And have you seen the tape? Yes. And what did you think of it? I thought it sucked. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I thought it was shot poorly. I think Tommy Lee's a much better amateur photographer. Yeah, if you're going to do something like that, you got to get the greatest Tommy yeah, Lee. Tommy Lee should have been banging Paris Hilton so we could see that. And I'm sure <laughs> Tommy Lee will bang Paris Hilton. And we'll get to see. And we'll get a good tape out of him. <laughs> but uh, I, I would have to say that on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, first of all, Paris Hilton, her ass is a little flat. She didn't look her best. I give her, uh, you know, I give her a seven. You know what? I still think I'd ask her out for dinner. Oh hell yeah! I'd bang the crud out of her. I mean, I mean, it would just uh, all the crud I mean, would fall right out. It's pretty much a sure thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. She and she's good looking. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just putting it up there with like if I had to go on a website and pay for it. Absolutely. Uh, I saw enough of it. I, I literally turned it off after five seconds. That I was bored. So in a way, you're probably lucky. That you're not selling this to your to your constituents because they'd be pissed off anyway. Uh, I understand from the paper today there are ten tapes now that we're talking about. Well, sexbrat.com has no knowledge of any other prior tapes. Uh, would you buy uh, Would you buy another tape if someone approaches you with it? What I do? Would, would sexbrat.com do it? Oh no, absolutely no. not. All right. Really? So what So what is the agreement now between you and Paris Hilton that you will not show the tape? Sexbot.com will not be airing this tape in any way, shape, or form. So did you? Did you? Did she pay you for that? No. No. She proved to you that you don't have the rights to it. Correct. Okay. This is a copyright situation, and obviously the copyright would go back to the person who actually filmed the tape. Right. Uh, since we cannot, at this particular, you know, juncture, basically pinpoint what the dealings were, uh, it. You don't want to get involved. Now, isn't it tough yeah. to have sold this thing anyway? It's all over the internet for free. Yes and no. Um, based upon the emails that we've been seeing coming into sexbrats.com over the last two days, I can unequivocally tell you that there is a market out there of people that are begging for this page. Really? So they've seen it in little snippets across the web. They want the whole thing. They want the whole thing. And, and originally what, what sexbrats.com had done was they had gone out, sought out a video crew to actually put together a 40-minute documentary tape. This 40-minute documentary basically includes a lot of Harris's friends that have hung out with her, partied with her, and um, talked about the person individually. At the end of the tape, it climaxes, no pun intended, with the actual sex act. All right. All right. So the point is that sexbrite.com will not be selling the Paris Hilton tape. They have backed off because they don't have legal rights to it and uh, I think if I hear the word sexbrite.com one more time I'm going to throw yeah. up at you. you've said it so many times you don't have to pay me the big money Howard I understand but... <laughs> we're trying to get to the bottom we're trying to get to the bottom of it and you're just repeating the name of the website over and over again but anyway Kevin Black you are the uh, PR guy that's correct and uh, alright thanks for calling in hey I thank you very much and uh, if anybody has any salacious or any kind of uh, we know where to go. We, we know, know where to go. go. Sexbrat.com. We got it. Thank you. Good. All right. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Thank you. All right. There you go. There's Kevin, who says they will not be selling the tape. But if you have any tape, he'll take yours. Exclusive. I might have to. Uh, I might have to make a tape. So they. I like when he says uh, sex. Brat.com is a victim in all of this. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to still figure that one. They're buying tapes of a 19-year-old girl banging. And they've been victimized. They've been victimized. How dare anybody take advantage of them? <laughs> <laughs> but this world's crazy, isn't it? It is. It really is People nuts. have all kinds of rationale. All right. Wow. I like that. Hey, let me do an FM. -y. Oh, yes. Yeah, because um, everyone liked them yesterday, and we've got a ton of them. Uh, we have most bizarre moment of the friggin' year. Fred, get me into the FM, please. Yeah. You'll see.